Welcome to Technology Day, the day that we have organized with our colleagues at Dresser Rand and Siemens to bring in customers and industry experts so that they can have a first glance at what most of you in fact have probably never seen. And I think it's important to re-emphasize that it's um, not just about Enercore, it really is a partnership between Enercore and Dresser Rand now a Siemens business. Dress Arena and Siemens, we view this as a game changer. This is gonna do something that, that customers couldn't do before. They have that low energy fuel, and you can use that fuel to make power through the KG2 gas turbine. We are a customer to Enercore, and then our customers would include the small industrials, in this case, pharmaceutical, uh, printing facilities, um, anybody who has a waste a uh, gas emission issue that also uses electricity. Now we also have non-traditional lines of business that Enercore will open up. These are new businesses and that's in our solid waste recovery business. So this technology is really amazing. Enercore develops, manufactures and commercializes innovative equipment that enables a variety of industries to, for the first time, productively use their waste gases, as opposed to the status quo today, which is to destroy those waste gases in order to remain environmentally compliant. What we're gonna show you here today is something that I and the rest of us consider to be a very big deal. Why are we so excited about what's going on here? So I'm gonna break it down into three key elements. First element is based on legislation and permitting. On August the 18th of this year, the US EPA issued proposed regulations designed to cut methane emissions from oil and gas sector by 40 to 45% from 2012 levels by the year 2025. The policy and regulatory trend is not for relaxation on air quality. It is definitely toward tougher air emission standards covering other sectors of our economy. The second element as to why we think Enercore is a really big deal it has to do with the trend away from the past where we had massive coal plants or nuclear plants or thermal plants and toward having small power generation technologies near the homes, near the offices, near the industrial facilities. And that way you're relying less on the transmission grid to get that power out. The last piece, for why this is a big deal, companies that many of you work with today are seeking a very basic objective of generating profits. It's very simple. The, the economic fact is all of the pollution abatement technologies today represent a cost to industry. They literally deteriorate the overall efficiency of any industrial facility. We're actually a solution that enables companies to not just meet but exceed their emission standards in a way that is not costly but it's actually monetizing the gas. And that's what I think has to happen for sustainability to ever thrive really in a serious way. It's not enough to simply convert these waste gases into clean power. That's good. But Intercore's system is only a success if it can produce clean power at a price that is competitive within the context of today's regional energy prices. To get the price down, it's important for Enercore to scale up from the hundreds of kilowatts to the multiple megawatt sizes. Right now, the technology is running in a 250 kW solution, which will soon be running 333. So that's a very small energy level. And we're looking to size it up to two megawatts, eight times larger. We recently passed a subscale acceptance test. So we've passed that first hurdle in the sizing and developing so that the technology will work with the KG2 gas turbine. And as we looked at the marketplace, what we saw was that there's so much gas out there that you couldn't possibly burn it all in two megawatt gas turbine, which is really, really exciting stuff because now we have something that really nobody else has. For Intercore, the subscale acceptance test is a very big deal. 
Um, it was set up in our program with Dresser Rand as a milestone. We wanted to uh, simulate what the full-scale unit and how it would operate on a small-scale acceptance test. And to do that, we used our multi-fuel test facility to simulate the conditions of the two megawatt gas turbine. Now that we've completed the subscale acceptance test, it allowed Dresser Rand to place purchase orders with Enercor for the first couple of two megawatt systems. And what that also opens the door for is other, other applications to apply the larger scale power plant. And I'm very excited about the future of this technology. I'm Pat McKenzie, I'm with Pacific Ethanol. We are the single largest marketer of ethanol along the West Coast. The Enacor Power Oxidizer makes a very unique opportunity for us in California. On two levels, it's a very good fit. One for pollution control, it is the best available technology, and it helps reduce our operating costs. We're estimating that on an annual basis, it will save our operation in one facility between three and five million dollars. When we finish our Stockton installation of the power oxidizer, we're gonna take those results and look at how it fits in a remainder of our operations in North America. You've been hearing about Pacific Ethanol all day. I don't know where, I didn't see Pat. Speak of the devil. Yeah. When I first met Pat, they were having troubles with the thermal oxidizer. You know, it was meeting emissions, not eating emissions. The matter of fact, the, um, the air quality guy was showing up sometimes unannounced, to see how things were going. Mm -hmm. And uh, interestingly enough, he happened to show up the day that Boris and I were there. And we actually invited him to the meeting. It was perfect, you know, to have the air quality guy sitting in there talking about a solution to the problem. This is a way of getting a serious leap ahead of anyone else in your industry by not just reducing your cost by a sliver, but by a few percentage points, which is substantial when you're in a commodity industry. You all are in a race to get cheaper, to get your costs low. And if you don't do it, Darwinism will take care of you. Well, last year, Intercor successfully installed their first commercial system in the Netherlands. This year, they've already gotten three more systems on order. So the technology is taking off. Most mature power generation technologies have had to make this jump to the multiple megawatt sizes at some point in time in their development. It's actually a rite of passage. That's happening right here today as we speak with our colleagues from Dresser Rand. We're making that leap. Consistently on the news, I hear people talking about, oh, this is bad for the economy. All these new emission standards are making our industries more costly. And we, we as America, we're, we're making America less competitive with these, with these new emission standards. And I say, no, stop. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that way. So as a final remark, industrial air pollution is actually not the problem. The, the problem is industrial inefficiency. If you can find usage for all your waste streams, you make the industrial facility more efficient and just naturally the pollution thing just goes away because it was never a real problem. It was a symptom of something else. So with that, I thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed it.